Hello there. Hi. One race, one blood, a biblical answer to racism. We are going to be conducting a class every Wednesday from September 9th through October 7th, meeting at 6.30 here in the Fellowship Hall, dealing with this subject, the subject of racism. Kind of a big thing right now. Uh, it's been a big thing for a long time, but it's coming out now. And we need to talk about this subject. And believe it or not, the Bible is full of answers concerning the topic of racism. Listen to what it says in Acts chapter 17, verse 26. From one man he made every nation of men that they should inhabit the whole earth. Here's one answer. One man. We all come from the same man and woman, Adam and Eve. Do we look different? Oh yeah. Do we act a little differently? Sure. Yeah, you betcha. But we are all human beings. We belong to one race, the human race. I look forward greatly to studying this subject, and I hope as many people can come as possible. We'll meet in the uh, fellowship hall, like I said. We'll have a little DVD, and, and then we'll have a discussion, and it ought to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Please come. I'm going to leave you with one last thing here. This is from Romans chapter 5, and it's verse 19. So we got the one man, Adam, who really did a good job of bringing sin into the world and messing this whole place up. But thank God somebody had mercy on our race, that is humanity, and saved us. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, Adam, the many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of the one man, Jesus, the many will be made righteous. The one man, Jesus, he comes and saves all men, mankind, men and women, no matter what color skin, he loves us all. One man, Jesus. And that one man saved you from all of your sins, guilt, and pain. And what a joy that is to know, and you know it. Till we see each other again, be strong and courageous. And if you're able to come, on Wednesday, please do. Looking forward to seeing everybody who can come. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.